start you off with a look outside in Philadelphia and Oklahoma City, two hometowns of ours. That's right, and both of them looking pretty good so far on this early Sunday, but more showers and storms and severe weather chances will be in the forecast once again for today. And we will have a much better forecast for some just in time for Labor Day. We'll have those stories and more coming up. AccuWeather Weekend starts right now. Well, good morning. Thanks for joining us on AccuWeather Weekend. I'm Melissa Constance. And I'm Damian Lotus. It's always nice to see the uh, hometowns here on an early Sunday, right? Yeah, mine's still looking pretty dreary, personally. I just drove through it the other day, and I was like, ugh, clouds. Well, I'm going to mine tonight, so hopefully there it clears up just a little bit, so we'll see. All right, we'll see how things change. Let's start you off, though, with a quick look of the forecast across the country. And we'll get started with the satellite and radar, uh, giving you some of that imagery here of the moisture coming into Texas, also feeding into parts of Oklahoma. We have a lot of areas of concern here as we head to this afternoon, this area of low pressure. First, the initial one brought some showers and thunderstorms, severe weather across the East Coast. But we're reloading for another chance here as we head to this afternoon, Melissa. And that means some thunderstorms, places like Buffalo, for example, will also be dealing with a little bit of wet weather out there in places like New York City from that other front. So if you're along that area with the moisture across the south, expect those thunderstorms to rumble. But other than that, across the uh, northern plains and the Great Lakes, beautiful sunny skies, highs in the 70s. That's not too bad for the first day of September. Yeah, meanwhile, things are heating up through the western U.S. We want to get to our top story, though, which is the cold fronts that we've been tracking. It's brought severe thunderstorms across the northeast and the east coast for Saturday. That's right, and some will even see more mild conditions with below average highs, not only today, but for your Labor Day as well. And there will be another round of strong to severe thunderstorms as we head into tonight. But the good news is this front is going to set up for a beautiful, great Labor Day holiday for some, as we were talking about. Yeah, let's check things out at uh, New Jersey. The view, again, cloudy. I just came from the beach as we were kind of just talking about. I, it was uh, at the Jersey Shore, and let me tell you, the past two days look like this. It does get better for folks that are there for the Labor Day weekend, but you're going to want to try to embrace Monday, which I know is usually consisting of the drive back, right? That's kind of the worst thing about Labor Day itself is you kind of get the morning and then sometime in the afternoon you got to leave and get on home, get ready for work and school and the week to come. Well, as we take you through the Northeast, again, some of those clouds are more persistent here right along the coast where we do have that boundary still holding on, especially into New Jersey. Seaside Heights, uh, you're just south of where some of those showers have been skirting through um, closer to Sandy Hook. Meanwhile, as you work your way through the interior Northeast, doesn't look like much, but as Damien was talking about, that next low pressure system in Canada brings a front through. That's going to change the game for us as we go into Labor Day. And you can already see where that front is. Notice the wind shift. So winds across the entire northeast out of the south at this point in time. But as you look back towards Michigan, see that big kink in the flow, especially over uh, southwestern Michigan and into northwestern uh, Indiana? That's where the front is. And behind it, strong northwest winds bringing in a cool change of air. So that pleasant air mass is on the move through Michigan today. But meanwhile, out ahead of it, we've got those stormy conditions out there. Showers, thunderstorms, still pretty likely in places like Boston, New York City, Philadelphia, unfortunately. We just can't seem to shake it. As we go through the afternoon, New York City, you've got those thunderstorms in the forecast. Like I said, Buffalo, that secondary front catches up to us. Notice the numbers, though, in a place like Pittsburgh. We're in the mid-80s, still a lot of those extra clouds out there. We're going to change that into tomorrow behind this front. First up, though, the first front deals with some more showers and thunderstorms, some of which will be strong to severe. Watch out for the damaging wind threat with this as we watch uh, for some of these thunderstorms, but also a lot of heavy rainfall. That's going to create puddling and ponding on the roads, maybe some issues with travel. So that is something important to note for your Labor Day weekend as we deal with some of these thunderstorms. Here's how they get going through the afternoon. You can see them spotting up. Uh, through the mountains of Virginia and West Virginia. We also have them through southern New Jersey, coastal New England. As that boundary starts to push offshore later this evening and into tonight, look at the next one. Through Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, into New York. That's where we get the thunderstorms that uh, will be dying down. This is the front that brings the big changes. And tomorrow, the air mass is different. In fact, you'll notice those changes tonight. In places like Detroit and Buffalo, we're back into the mid-50s for lows. So as you get out the door maybe early tomorrow morning, maybe you're doing a 5K or some sort of activity, it'll be a little bit cooler out there. And as we go through Monday, then that cool, comfortable air settles its way on in, 
keeps in place for the start of the week, which is, of course, the holiday. But even as we get into Tuesday, the work week, it'll be pretty similar here. 73 in Pittsburgh. We're down 10 degrees. Buffalo, upper 60s. And Boston, back into the upper 70s. We will wait for a low along that old boundary to try to kick back into the northeast for the late week. Let's take you a little bit farther to the south now as we talk about uh, what's coming up next uh, in the southeast. The boundary there is still holding on. Yeah, that's right, Melissa, and that boundary is going to kick off a few shower and thunderstorm chances, so we will see some widespread rainfall, even possibly some flooding here across the southern U.S., so let's go ahead and get right into the latest. So here's the overall setup, and yes, we are going to see we right now have a tropical rainstorm offshore here between the Louisiana and Texas Gulf Coast right there. But as we head into this afternoon, it's all about the sweltering heat here across the southeast. Those AccuWeather real field temperatures will climb as high as 105 to 110. So dangerously hot here for some as we head into this afternoon. And there's also going to be a chance of showers and thunderstorms, possibly some severe thunderstorms as we head into this afternoon across the southeast. So let's go ahead and take a look at the latest. Last three hour radar loop, we have some offshore showers and storms there on the east coast of Florida, but we're still primarily watching this tropical rainstorm area there across the uh, Gulf Coast on Louisiana. This is going to slowly lift its way to the north, and that's going to bring some widespread showers, even some rumbles of thunder as we head into this afternoon. Future track radar is showing that by midday, we'll still see those showers offshore on Florida, some of that rainfall moving onshore on, along the Gulf Coast. However, as you look up to the north, this is going to be that boundary, that front that we've been talking about. That's going to kick off a line of showers and thunderstorms here as we head into this afternoon. And that line will have the potential of producing some severe thunderstorms. It does look like the highest potential for any severe weather is going to be right around 5 to 6 p.m. here this afternoon. So I stopped the clock and you can see just widespread showers and thunderstorms extending from the Atlantic all the way in West Texas. So this is going to be a long line of showers and thunderstorms. And once again, I can't rule out the possibility of a few of these isolated showers and thunderstorms producing some small hail, some strong winds. So there will be a low wind severe threat as we head into this evening. And for this evening, we'll start to see some of that rainfall taper off just a little bit. And that's going to last here as we head into your early Monday morning. Before Monday morning, West Texas starting off with some showers and storms. And there will also be some redevelopment of showers and storms there off the coast. So we will see more rainfall here as we head into your Monday afternoon. So here's midday on Monday. Heavy rainfall expected across West Texas along that I-20 corridor. So we will be watching that very carefully. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and take you right now live to Houston, Texas. We're going to get ready for the uh, Big Three, tracking some, some mixed weather conditions here as we head throughout the next of the couple of days here for us. Uh, Melissa and Houston looking kind of dreary as well. Yeah, we're going to be keeping that rain in the forecast here. Watch out for some real soaking times. And as we get into this forecast, we'll know it's not just along the coast in Texas. Often it can be, but this time we're actually launching into western Texas. Yeah, west Texas is about to get a lot of rainfall. And you said it earlier, getting rainfall in that part of Texas is great. Mm -hmm. But when you get too much of it at one time, that can cause some problems. That's exactly what we're going to see. So here's the setup here for this afternoon. Tropical rainstorm coming into the coastline there and producing all of this wet weather, which does extend northward towards that boundary you're talking about coming in through Tennessee. And that's right. That's also going to kick off the chance of shower storms and severe weather. But the primary risk as we head into this afternoon is going to be for that flooding rainfall. Look at that I-20 corridor, Dallas, Big Spring, Midland, Odessa. We're going to see some heavy rainfall even up north towards Lubbock on I-27. Yeah, the tail end of that boundary just kind of traps the moisture coming in from that tropical rainstorm. And that's where it dumps out over western and central Texas. And that's exactly what we're going to see for today. All right, let's take you into the tropics because we still have to talk about it. We're going into the peak of hurricane season. Now that we've started September, yeah, we flipped the page. Uh, September 10th is the peak of hurricane season, and we know things can get active quickly. Yes, they can. We've had dry air in place here over the past couple of days. That has really helped out, but that dry air is starting to evaporate now. We're going to see this little band right here where the conditions are going to be primed for tropical storm development. And that's going to be a problem for two different tropical waves that we're tracking. One as working into the Caribbean through the uh, midweek and the early week here. So we'll be dealing with that as we go through the upcoming days. And then later in the week, we'll watch for that uh, further west tropical wave in the central Atlantic. That's not to say that we can't see anything a little closer to home, too. We'll keep a close eye on that as well. All right, so for the number three, this is the good news here for the weekend forecast. Beautiful weather here for Labor Day. So here's the setup for Labor Day. That area of low pressure is going to push its way off to the east. High pressure is going to dominate the northern plains, the Great Lakes, and the northeast. And I can't pick a better word <laughs> to describe this or what you would want for Labor Day than comfortable, right? That's exactly what we're going to see. 
Yeah, we like that, especially after those views. You can see the sunrise there in Ocean City, New Jersey, capturing that just yesterday. And uh, that was one of the last times we saw the sun. So we're ready for this dry air mass to push into the Northeast. That's right. Highs for Labor Day across the Northeast. Pretty nice with a mix of 60s, 70s, and 80s. Yeah, it's going to be pleasant for many, including uh, those areas, too, around the Great Lakes. So enjoy it if you're camping, whatever you might be doing, I guess, outside. Well, the good news is we have some decent travel weather for most of the country. You can see at least half of it dealing with green lights here, no travel delays. As you work your way towards the East Coast, though, you'll find more showers and thunderstorms, so expect those minor delays to be a little bit more prominent. And because we have those thunderstorms along the East Coast, that's where flight cancellations will be up a little bit more today across the U.S. because we have some of those big East Coast cities dealing with the chance for thunderstorms.